In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. It is Friday, the 10th day of September in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. I'm still addressing myself. I thought that I would do it for two days. Now it is going to the whole week. I thank God. Next week, I promise, next week I'll discuss Catholic Men Association. I promise. But this week, I'll be able to deal with the Catholic Women Association. A woman who is tolerant, who will never get upset because others have done whatever they have done. I have said that there are people in this world whose sole duty and responsibility is to misunderstand you. And whatever you say, they'll do all manner of things. I remember, I think, sometimes last year, I was guiding some people on how to use social media, and especially the clergy. Because sometimes we coil because of uh, trolls. Trolls will always be there. Cyberbullying is real. But if you understand all those parameters, you never allow yourself not to take the word of God online because somebody said something bad about you. Me, I have had my share. <laughs> and I am so happy because... And I know those of you who have followed me, you know that I don't answer people back. As if, if I see that you have written something, something very, very uncivil, I don't even... I don't even care. I read. I read, but I don't take it personally because of the five things I'm about to say. <laughs> and when you know, when you, when you have known those five things, you will never fail to go to bed because somebody said something bad about you. Number one, always know, gracious ladies, that even if people are so vile, even if they are so uncivil, even if they are so uncouth in their utterances, know, number one, that you are not answerable to their stupidity. You are not. So it has something to do with them. Please don't take it personally. This, that should be your item of prayer and an intention of prayer. Number two, you are not answerable to their ignorance. You aren't. You are not answerable to their ignorance. And there are people, even if you explain to them, they will still misunderstand you because they are attacking you, not because you are bad, because they are suffering from what Father C.K. calls chronic inner self-loathing. It is called C-I-S-L. C-I-S-L. Chronic inner self-loathing. Somebody who hates himself or herself with some passion. That person never sees anything positive in your life. Even if you go to heaven and come back, they will still say that you didn't go to heaven. You are in hell. Even if they found you in church, they will still report the opposite. You cannot keep on correcting everybody. No, I was not there. Please, there are people. Hata ukijitetea. And you know, lies sometimes is so sweet. Sweeter than truth. So, if somebody is so ignorant, please don't, don't take it personally. Number three, at least know that you are never answerable to people's myopia. Never, never answerable. If they can't see far, that's not your problem. It is their problem. Number four, you are never answerable to people's pettiness. Let me tell you, gracious ladies, there are human beings who are so petty. There are some of our members in the Catholic Women Association very petty. Their pettiness borders on childishness. Their pettiness borders on what we call emotional and, and um, social immaturity. These are women who largely keep on growing old and never growing up. But they are our members. Do we kill them? No. 
Do we send them away? No. Do we kill ourselves because of them? No. Do we leave the church because of them? No. They never gave us the vocation to be Christians. God did. So what do we do? We continue being there. Maybe our continued presence will minister to them. Did you know? When somebody is intentionally doing something evil to you, and you intentionally be the good person you have always been, that being good consistently becomes ministry to the person who is evil. That's how it works. So never fight anybody. Your patience, your maturity, your depth of faith will be a word of conversion to that gracious lady. Remember, that gracious lady is still a daughter of her father in heaven. It's only that she has given the devil some leeway to, to control her. And when you are continuously good, irrespective of what she is doing, you never know the good you are doing in her life. Tomorrow, tomorrow she will be completely changed. Even if it will not be tomorrow, one day she will. Finally, number five, you are never answerable to people's conflicted view of life. Never, ever. And the only, you, the only way, sorry, the only way to know your purpose, it's by knowing God. Gracious ladies, the only way to know your purpose is that you know God. And you don't know God as a group. You don't know God as an association. No. You will know God as an individual. Remember, God called you as an individual. Don't be talking about the rest of us, we Catholics. There is nothing called we Catholics. Don't be talking about we women of, uh, um, of, of, of uh, we Catholic women. There is nothing like that. There is an individual. You came into this world alone, and alone shall you go. And you live alone. I've always said, if you ever want to know that in this world you are alone, one day be in crisis. Be in crisis. Human beings are funny. When you are in crisis, that is where all your friends, close friends, become busy. Even to some extent, some run away from you. You are in crisis. Maybe what's happening at, at home. Maybe your husband or your children, something is wrong. And you are in such a big crisis. And because your parish priest has also learned what is happening in your life. And maybe it is something that is not so, not so enticing. Even your own close friends, they don't want to be seen in your company. That is when you realize all along you have been alone. Now later you are complaining. You know, uh, this and this happened. You people did not come to my defense. They did not come because you are living in your own darkness. You thought that because in your parish you are 700 women, you are counting 700 women. My dear, you have all along been alone. If you know that, you will go to the one who will never leave you unattended. That is your father in heaven. He will never. The rest of us, when you are in crisis, we can run away from you. The rest of us, when you are in crisis, we don't even want to be seen with you. The rest of us, we will become busy, my dear. Human beings have a gift of becoming busy when they don't want to attend to your problems. And they'll be there. Others will want to do some funny messaging. Others will just go mute. And then you ask, oh, even mama so-and-so, even mama so-and-so, mama so-and-so has never been your friend. Mama so-and-so is an opportunist. Maybe she knew long time ago that she is also on her own. Gracious ladies, please know a group has no identity. Gracious ladies, 
please know that your identity is in Jesus Christ. Not in your uniform. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Let me read for you Ephesians 1, verses 11 and 12. It's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Long before we first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, we had his eyes on us, had designs on us for glorious living, part of the overall purpose he is working out in everything and everyone. Don't I love that? It is in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Gracious ladies, that is called identity. I want to stop there. Tomorrow, I'll tell you what you need to overcome to be able to keep that identity of a glorious and gracious Catholic woman. Tomorrow, may the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.